I had a great time today. I, I get so excited when other people are interested in what I have to say. And every time I do a talk and every time I, I have an audience in front of me or every time I do a, a, a Facebook Live event or a, just sharing a video, the amount of response that I get from people is so exciting to me because people are so interested if you just give them an opportunity. People want to be allies, people want to be involved, people want to be part of the solution. But we have to give them those opportunities. Within our community we need to find mediators and art is one of those ways to mediate. So I produce uh, ribbon skirts, ribbon aprons, um, beadwork, I do uh, talismans and medallions and tobacco pouches and moccasins, gloves, hats, um, pretty much anything that you can adorn with beadwork. And I make ribbon skirts custom for people and I also make ribbon aprons, which is a totally uh, new concept, uh, I'd never seen that before. but. The idea that we were only wearing ribbon skirts in ceremony and only wearing them at powwows and only it was they were relegated to being this like ceremonial piece of clothing and I wanted to have an opportunity to bring the ribbon skirt into the home. So I wanted to make aprons so that I could wear my ribbon skirt all the time because I'm always canning, I'm always cooking or you know juicing, um, like making jellies and stuff like that. And so when I'm doing all of these like traditional kitchen skills, these domestic skills, I really wanted to be wearing my ribbon skirt. And so I started making ribbon aprons so that other people can bring a little bit of that ceremonial into your everyday life, like into your home, into your into your your daily chores in the house. And uh, and it really took off from there. People loved the idea of it. For a long time I've felt a real need to find a lot more meaning in the work that I've been doing and, and I, I strove for the last 15 years in tattooing to try and do that and it was really difficult for me to find a lot of inherent meaning in it. I love talking about this subject because it is really the basis for why I wanted to start Indigenous Nouveau in the first place. I needed something in my life where I was making a bigger impact. At the beginning, I, I really did start it out as a fabric and clothing business, actually. I had another company that I was working with uh, producing beadwork printed leggings that were Métis designs because nobody before the ones that I had done, nobody had done a Métis printed legging, a yoga pant. And I got super excited about the idea of doing that and then using my skills, like my background in graphic design that comes from tattooing and, and digital illustration, I decided to get into the fabric business. I started to get really excited about using the interest in my fabric to really start to spread that message. And so everything in my business became about representing the ethics behind Indigenous Nouveau. The name for my business comes from the Art Nouveau movement. And the Métis especially, but all Indigenous people and all First Nations people in, in, in North America right now are experiencing a renaissance, a rebirth, a rekindling of our arts. Um, we're, we're undergoing this beautiful transition into modernity with traditional arts and it's super exciting and so Indigenous Nouveau reflects that excitement. Mm -hmm.